In this video, we will study two bin packing algorithms. A problem might look like this. Use the first fit algorithm to pack the weights 11, 2, 15, 5, 6, 17, and 7 into bins with capacity 20. First, let's try to understand what some of these vocabulary words mean. The weights are those numbers that we listed there. Those represent objects of varying size. The bins you can imagine to be containers that have a particular capacity. They can only hold so much weight. And the goal is to pack the weights into the smallest possible number of bins. In general, this can be a hard problem, so the way that we approach this problem is to use an algorithm. The algorithm we're being asked to use here is called the first fit algorithm. So here's how that works. Keep the weights in the order that they are given and pack them one at a time. We also want to have bins in order also. You can imagine that we have a bunch of empty boxes sitting in a row and one at a time we're going to be placing our weights into a particular box. Given a weight that we want to pack, we're going to check each bin in order, going down the line, until we find one that has room for that weight, and then we put the weight in that bin. So we're going to find the first bin that can fit the weight. That's what we call it the first fit algorithm. So let's see how this works. Again, we've got this list of weights, 11, 2, 15, and so on. And as you can see here, we've got our first empty bin. We haven't packed any weights yet, so it's got 20 capacity remaining. So for our first weight, we want to know, does this weight of size 11 fit into this first bin? Well, of course it does, and so we pack that weight. And notice that we update the capacity remaining. Now that we've got a weight 11 in that bin, there's only 9 spots remaining. So for our next weight, does that 2 fit into this first bin? And again, it does. So we pack that weight and update our capacity remaining. Now we've got another weight. This one's 15, and we don't have room for that in our first bin. So we're going to create a second bin that has capacity 20 because it's empty and we're going to place that weight 15 into there. So now we have our first bin which has 7 spots remaining and our second bin which has 5 spots remaining. The next weight on our list is 5. And again the first fit algorithm says find the first bin in line that has room for the weight that you're trying to pack. So we're going to place that weight 5 into that first bin. Now you might be looking at this and saying that it would have fit better into the second bin and we'll deal with that kind of issue later when we talk about the best fit algorithm. So we're using the first fit algorithm, and the alg again the algorithm says find the first bin that can fit your weight and pack it there. Our next weight is size 6, and now what we see is that it doesn't fit into the first bin, it doesn't fit into the second bin, so we need to create a third bin. So that third bin starts with capacity 20 because it's empty, but as soon as we pack in our 6 weight, now it's got 14 spots remaining. Our next weight on our list is a big 17. Doesn't fit into the first bin, doesn't fit into the second bin, doesn't fit into the third bin, and so we're going to have to create a fourth bin to fit that weight 17. We've got one more weight to go, that's weight 7. Doesn't fit into the first bin, doesn't fit into the second bin, does fit into the third bin, and so that's where our weight goes. So this is the result of using the first fit algorithm to pack these weights. But as I mentioned earlier, that's not the only algorithm we have. What if we instead were asked to use the best fit algorithm to pack these weights into those bins of capacity 20? Here's how the best fit algorithm works. Once again, we're going to keep the weights in the order that they are given and pack them one at a time. But this time, instead of placing the weights into the first bin that can fit it, we're going to try to pack the weight into the bin that is the best fit. In other words, of all of the different bins that could fit our weight, we're going to use the one with the least capacity remaining that's going to have the least amount of room left over after we pack that weight. So let's see how this works. We start very similar to how we did before. We have one empty bin with capacity 20, and our first weight is size 11. There's only one bin to choose from, and so we're going to pack that weight into that bin. The next weight is size 2, and again we only have one bin to choose from, so we'll pack that weight into that bin. Our next weight is size 15, but there's not enough room for that size 15 weight in our first bin, so we're going to have to put that into a brand new bin. Now's where we get to the difference between the best fit algorithm that we're using now and the first fit algorithm that we used earlier. Our next weight is size 5, and we have a choice. It could go into the first bin, or it could go into the second bin. But let's remember the rule for the best fit algorithm. We're going to choose the bin that has the least capacity remaining. So of all of the bins that could hold our weight, which is the two bins that we have, we're going to put it into the one that has the least amount of room left over. And in this case, we're going to put that five weight into the second bin. 
Notice, by the way, that that second bin is now completely full. It has no capacity remaining. And that's the best possible scenario. If we're trying to pack our weights efficiently, then we want to try to get as many of those perfect fits as we can. And the best fit algorithm tries to find those good fits. Our next weight has size 6. There's only one bin that that could go into, so we put it into that first bin. Our next weight has size 17. That doesn't fit into the, any of the first two bins, so we'll have to create a new bin for it and place it there. Finally, our last weight has size 7. That doesn't fit into any of the bins that we have so far, so once again we'll have to create a new bin and place that weight there. So this is the result of using the best fit algorithm to pack the same weights into the bins with capacity 20. And notice that we get a different result from using this different algorithm.